Indonesia, with over 200 million people, is the world's fourth most populous country and the world's 16th largest economy. While on one hand its GDP is predicted to grow at about 6% on average yearly, on the other hand its population below the poverty line is estimated to be around 12%. But one of our stars, Kieran Pratt, along with a charity organization, Habitat for Humanity, ventured off the beaten track to get a glimpse of life of the less fortunate. Two and a half hours northwest of the Indonesian capital Jakarta in the province of Mok, the charity organization is in the process of building homes for those in need of help. The work done so far by Habitat for Humanity has impressed the 2012 Zykabar Myanmar Open Champion. It was incredible to come here and see some of the work that's been done here uh, for the locals and just to see you know, some of the people that live here um, you know, and how happy they are. It's just a, it's, um, yeah, an incredible place and, and, and incredible what they've done. Habitat for Humanity Indonesia, established as a national foundation in 1997, provides new houses, rehabilitation and repairs for families who can't afford decent shelter. Last year alone, they served more than 36,000 families and provided sanitation services to over 10,000 Indonesians. Financial aid comes from various avenues, such as funds raised from the CIMB Niaga Indonesian Masters Tournament, which they've had a partnership with for the past three years. Habitat for Humanity is into uh, building of homes, and then here in this village, in Margamulia, we already have about 65 homes that we have built in here uh, since June of last year, 2012. But uh, at by the end of this year, Habitat for Humanity in Indonesia plans to build about 163 homes uh, in this place. So as you can see, we have here in this place uh, already 65 homes being built. The homeowners themselves help build their own homes. The neighbors also help build the homes of their neighbors. Hey guys. Yeah, it's an incredible cause. I guess this is what you would expect when you, know, you see the sponsorship money you know, going to you know, sponsor a child, that sort of thing. This is where you like seeing you know, those funds go towards building homes for these people and uh, you know, enriching their lives a little bit. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to see. And one of the beneficiaries of this initiative, Madame Eni, whose household survives on a mere 10 US dollars a day, is thankful for her upgraded living conditions. Yalah, alhamdulillah, gitu. Nyaman, gitu. Di tempatnya sama saya, gitu. Cuma dulu, iyalah, pesakit, dulu sakit. Iya, sekarang, alhamdulillah, dapat kayak itu. Bahagia, gitu, sama anak. You just see the joy on their faces when they see someone, you know, someone new walk, walking in and you know, saying hello and everyone's sort of you know, laughing and giggling you see all the kids. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to see. It's been a you know, pretty eye-opening experience, I suppose. You know, it puts things into perspective. For the Australian, there were lessons to be taken away from this visit. Kieran's form has been inconsistent ever since that magical moment in Myanmar last year. But like those less fortunate than him, it's his ability to persevere and work hard at his game is what sets him apart. I think winning your expectations obviously heighten and, um, and I think it's important to sort of stay on a pretty even keel as a you know, professional golfer. You've got to, you know, you continue to work hard and continue to uh, um, try and improve your game. No, I'm not that pleased with you know, the results that I've had on the board, but I'm pleased with how I've learnt from my mistakes and you know, over those two and a half years that I've been a professional and I'll continue to learn um, long after this. And the 25-year-old from Melbourne could draw inspiration from the recent success of his fellow countrymen. Most recently, Brett Rumford, who posted consecutive wins on the European Tour. Oh. shot from Brett Rumford. Well done, Brett Rumford. A fabulous way to win. What a terrific eagle. It looks like sort of Adam Scott started, uh, you know, started the sort of run. Um, 
or Wade might have in, at, at the Panasonics and Scott Hand in, uh, in Chiang Mai. So yeah, the Aussies are playing well. Matt Steiger and Jake Higginbottom are two guys that both won professional tournaments last year and I think Steiger started pretty well this year as well on the Asian Tour. Uh, and no more way around, no more way around the golf courses and uh, hopefully that can lead to some good results as well as, you know, yeah, pretty confident that, uh, that it's going to be a good year.